off we go for a fishing trip to Sandy Hollow. So yesterday's fishing trip began at our house. We had been to numerous different lakes and rivers around the area, but decided since we didn't have a lot of time today that we would just head out to the local park right here outside of Sioux Center called Sandy Hollow. Sandy Hollow is just a couple of minutes down the road, probably less than five miles from our house. We'd been told that uh, you could catch some fish there. There's a swimming area and lots of different things for the kids to do, but we wanted to see if we could find and catch some fish. You do have to have a pass to enter into the Iowa State Park System. Uh, we have purchased one. It's $20 for the entire year. So not overly expensive and easily accessible. And it gets you into all of the Iowa State Parks. Of course, you never go on a trip to do anything with a van load full of boys without them acting a bit foolish. Yeah. So once we got there, we got all of our fishing gear ready to go and found out where we thought we would have the best chance at, and we made our way from the van down to our first spot. I had never been there before, so really we were just guessing. There was, a, like I said, a swimming area down at the other end, so we went on the opposite end of the pond from the swimming area. So this was our first spot. Once we got there and got settled in, it took me a bit to get everyone situated where they were and get worms tied on, get hooks tied on and worms on their hooks and teach Colin how to throw the, uh, how to cast the, uh, the fishing line. But we started and figured we'd stay there and see what would happen. As you can see, Colin learned how to throw, how to cast his line out there. And out of pure luck, I'm sure, he ended up being actually the first one to catch a fish. Colin caught the first fish. Look at me. I got the first fish. He gets to keep his worm, too. Doing good, Colin? I get to keep my worm. So we didn't get any more bites there, so we decided to move around to the other side of the lake. The wind was blowing right into us, and it was blowing our, our bait and our bobbers back into the shore. So this is when things kind of picked up, and the boys did pretty well. Colin specifically seemed like almost every time he threw his line out, he would catch another fish. Got one. Well, come on. Oh, come on, you got one. Got one? I think. Yeah, I got one. I swear. Although we didn't have as good a luck as Colin, Elijah did catch a couple. And Timothy caught some too, but he got frustrated sometimes because he was not quite having the luck that the uh, other boys were having. I 
I managed to hook one or two as well, but they were all really small. Uh, the boys, of course, wanted to keep them, but I had to explain to them that they just weren't quite big enough for us to do anything with. At the end of our time, I actually pulled in a, a baby channel cat. Of course, the boys were very interested in that. And then we headed on home after a great day. It was a lot of fun with the kids, and we really enjoyed our time together and enjoyed catching a few fish, albeit very small. So that was our fishing trip to Sandy Hollow yesterday. We've been looking around and trying to find different places around here in northwest Iowa that where we can catch some bluegill and bass and maybe some crappie. So uh, I'm sure that we'll have lots more videos coming up. But if you like our videos about hiking and fishing and camping, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bar. And if you do that, you'll get all of our new videos. See you soon. Oh.